Yeah. We have seen the sign for months that says the future home of Hard Rock Casino. Well, we're about to take that future off that sign and make the downtown casino the home of Hard Rock. And the person in charge of that move is George Goldhoff, president of Hard Rock. George, thanks so much for being with us. Hey, Betsy, good to be with you today. Thank you. Before we start talking about the casino and some of the particulars, let's talk about your family. You have some family ties to this area. Tell us a little bit about that. I certainly do. Uh, my great grandfather, uh, Abraham, moved to Cincinnati in the 1880s uh, from Lithuania. Uh, my grandfather uh, and his brothers uh, had shops here. They were tailors and retailers and uh, tailors and retailers. They were tailors and they sold clothing. Um, my dad was born here. He went to University of Cincinnati and got his uh, bachelor's and master's at University of Cincinnati, went to Ohio State um, to get another advanced degree, a PhD, met my mom who uh, was uh, from Columbus and uh, they got married. So I feel as if uh, this is home, although I had never lived here uh, before. <laughs> but you have now lived here for quite some time. You've been here several months, uh, even before the opening of the new casino downtown. So what are your uh, impressions so far about, especially downtown, downtown living, and the way that you see downtown rebounding now after this last year? That's right. So my wife, Justina, and I are empty nesters. Our three children have uh, moved out of the home. And previous to having children, we were uh, we lived together uh, and were married in New York City uh, and really loved city living and, and that type of thing. And so while we were looking, we were intrigued with over the Rhine. We hadn't heard of that before. Uh, so we did some research. We looked at some uh, homes and we ended up settling uh, not far from Washington Square Park on Race Street. Mm -hmm. And we absolutely... We, we absolutely love it. It's, it's cool, it's funky, it's improving. Uh, the entertainment is great. The food and beverage is wonderful. Uh, you know, we, we go to the park with our dogs. We love downtown living. Um, able to walk to the supermarket, walk to uh, the pharmacy. I walk to work, to and from work every day. It's great not having to drive. Why do you think that it's really important, especially for the casino, to have that kind of a vibrant uh, entertainment area as well as a vibrant residential area downtown? Well, uh, part of Hard Rock's um, uh, philosophy is to uh, invest in the community. And so I know the previous owners were active uh, with philanthropic efforts, but we made it, uh, our, our attitude was there's so much work to be done with the community uh, within a 10 block radius of the front doors of our property that we really wanted to get involved uh, with a community, whether it was um, uh, with the food bank or Prince of Peace Church or the mayor's challenge and beautifying uh, the neighborhood. Uh, we knew that we wanted to, and, and again, part of Hard Rock's uh, mottos and values uh, around the world in all 70 countries that we operate are to uh, support uh, the communities in which we uh, live and work. And so we're just living out our values. So let's talk specifically now about the casino. What will we see different at the downtown casino besides obviously the signage and the name change? What's going to stand out for visitors? Well, the, the, the first that I, I need to mention is that we're going to have a Hard Rock Cafe. Uh, of course, we have 175 Hard Rock Cafes across the globe and Cincinnati will be uh, 
we'll have the newest Hard Rock Cafe uh, beginning in middle to uh, late June. Uh, the cafe is going to have a few different components. We'll have a raised platform with a very large bar. We're going to have a la carte dining. We're going to have a private area that will hold up to 80 people. We'll have outdoor seating on our balcony patio. Once the sports book legislation passes, we're certain it will, uh, we're uh, actually designing and building a sports book. And of course, we're going to have entertainment three to four days a week and all of the wonderful memorabilia that you can uh, remember when you've visited a Hard Rock uh, cafe, hotel, or casino uh, in, the, uh, in, in your past. You touched on this a little bit earlier about um, the values that Hard Rock as a company, as a corporation have. And I think that, you know, we're so used to seeing on those t-shirts that you mentioned, we're so used to seeing the slogan, love all, serve all, uh, take time to be kind, save the planet. So many of those uh, slogans that you have within the corporation that really you try very hard to have your employees follow. Why do you think that it's just so important for the employees in particular and the organization as a whole to really follow those guidelines and really be part of your communities? Well, every company has a set of um, philosophies or in our case, mottos. Uh, the ones I've, the ones that, all of the ones that you've just mentioned, all is one, love all, serve all, take time to be kind and save the planet are really universal themes that everybody uh, understands and gets behind. It really depends on the company and how we live those values. We, we truly have a genuine care for others and we show care and respect and dignity to uh, our community in which we work, our guests to create that loyal bond uh, that uh, we wanna connect with our guests and particularly with our team members. Uh, we really are showing respect um, that we, we support them. We, we want to hire the best. We want to be able to develop them and give them opportunities within our uh, company. Um, Save the Planet is, uh, you know, it has really taken on a lot of meaning, I would say, over the course of the last decade. But mind you, these mottos were the original mottos that the founders brought into existence 50 years ago mm. uh, in 1971, June 14th, 1971. And we're approaching uh, our 50th year uh, anniversary on that date. And we're gonna have a big party like Hard Rock really knows how to do. But uh, getting back to our mission and our, our mottos, it's really, uh, you know, it's, it's also talking the talk. It's about being honest, telling the truth, telling people where you stand and, and supporting, uh, again, the community, our guests, and uh, our team members. So you mentioned team members. You're getting ready to gear up for that grand opening coming up this summer. So what opportunities are there for team members? We are in the midst of a... Uh, recruitment and uh, hiring uh, phase right now. And once we have recruited and hired, we, uh, uh, we help develop our team members. We put them through a three-day uh, orientation. Um, uh, we train them on something we called Walk This Way, which is brand immersion uh, into our company. Uh, and we have over 300 positions available right now and everything from a compliance specialist to servers, bartenders, uh, dealers, cooks, just about across the board. And so we're really excited and we've had some, uh, some great success over the course of the last four to six weeks uh, recruiting. As I mentioned, you have been here for several months now getting ready for this launch. What is the one thing that you're looking forward to the most when that ribbon is cut, you can open the doors and it is truly hard rock? 
What are you looking forward to? Well, we've we've been living in a little bit of a limbo state for uh, a while. Of course, uh, I've been here since December first, twenty nineteen, and then shortly thereafter, uh, we closed our doors. We had a great amount of momentum uh, going into March, and then of course we had the global mm-hmm. malady, and we were closed for ninety eight days. We reopened, but with a lot of restrictions, and then November. Uh, We implemented additional restrictions with a curfew, uh, and then the curfew was lifted in February. And so uh, we really have been uh, uh, recruiting, marketing, uh, uh, developing our team, reaching out to the community, talking to our loyal guests. So we have two feet on the gas right now, but we aren't a hard rock. Once we open up. We have all of the wonderful memorabilia. We're going to unveil a beautiful uh, 30-foot guitar out in front of our uh, front door, um, pending uh, approval from the zoning board, of course, uh, from the city. Uh, You know, we will truly be a hard rock, and we are living, uh, you know, the hard rock life inside of our building, but we're going to be able to provide that promise to uh, everybody in our region and really attract from a a larger pool further away and uh, support the city, support the region with our brand of uh, hospitality and tourism, really a unique way to amplify service and attract, uh, attract guests from further out. Well, there is a measure of coolness to be the home of a hard rock cafe and a hard rock casino. And uh, it'll be just one more thing to bring people into greater Cincinnati. Can't wait to see it. And I know it'll be exciting for the city, for the region, and especially for you, George Goldhoff, president of the soon to be hard rock casino. George, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks, Betsy. Have a great day. You too.